Hello and welcome to Joomla Review Some Smart Tactics. This is our first review of our sequence, so we're going to start at the beginning. After you've loaded Joomla, the very first thing that we do is look to the other components that we need to fill out the Joomla install that we're going to build. The great benefit of Joomla, of course, is the fact that there are over 3,700 of these extensions that we can add in. But what's the first one that we go for? Well, in fact, it's probably the most useful back-end component that you need to add. We can't imagine building a site without having this feature, and it's file management. Now, of course, there is a rudimentary file manager or media manager built into Joomla, but it's not as complete as we need, and there's no complaint about Joomla. It's hardly surprising that it doesn't have all of the features that we need in the core. We go for extensions to add to our file management capability. It gives us greater flexibility than we can have by just having using FTP or SSH to load new files and edit them. We actually want to be able to browse to files in our back end of our server, be able to upload new files, edit the files directly in place, and for that we need a file management package. Now, in the Joomla 1 days, that was pretty simple. We go to the Joomla extensions directory, as we are here, and we pick up on Joomla Explorer. It was really the only one around. It's, as far as Joomla 1 is concerned, and there are a lot of Joomla 1 sites out there, Joomla Explorer is the best game in town, without a doubt. There are a number of other uh, components now and uh, add-ins that you can see in this directory, but in fact most of those are involved with uh, adding capability for front-end file management, and this isn't really what we're looking for. There are two to choose from. They're right next to each other in the JD. There's Explorer, which you see here is the editor's choice, and Ninja Explorer. And we're going to explore the differences between these two and which one we would select. So let's move over to our reviews uh, uh, site. You'll see here it's a standard Joomla install and into the back end of our uh, Joomla site here. If we go first of all, and let's start with Ninja Explorer. What does Ninja Explorer do for you? And what can you do with it? As you see, Ninja Explorer loads up. And the first thing that we see is um, all of our folders here. The directory folder structure is laid before us. And so we can see all of the standard files. I'm going to click into modules here, and you can see uh, in, the, in the modules folder, it now breaks down, and all, the, all of the subfolders are displayed. That's marvelous. Let's go into this mod latest news. It's a, a piece of standard uh, Joomla core. And here are the files that make up uh, that, that particular module. Whilst we're here in the file module, you'll see that we have a number of options. We can go back to home. We can reload the page. Uh, we can search. We can also copy files that are here. Or we can move them. Or delete them. Or change their access rights. We can upload new files and we can zip the files that are there. There's also an addi additional menu down here. We can rename files. We can edit them directly. Or, less dangerously, we can just view them in sight. And again, we can download or uh, we can um, uh, delete them. If we go into edit, here is our, ed our file ready to edit. This is the actual file here, and we can edit it live and make any changes that we want. The real beauty of Joomla, of course, is that it's open source and that you can go and make these changes. And we find it's essential for building the sites and tuning sites exactly to your needs. Of course, you're very wise to back up first, and um, you can also save your, your new files under a different name, or uh, more likely, save the original in case you mess it up. You'll see that uh, we have the option here for um, uh, syntax highlighting, but I have to say that my own personal experience is that these features are a little bit flaky. They're not entirely how I'd want. The reason that they might say is that I'm not using Firefox, I'm actually using Google Chrome here as my browser. But so what? I actually would prefer that these features worked in all browsers. However, this is perfectly usable for me. Um, code highlighting would be nice, so it actually uh, coloured in the various different components in the various different parts of the program. But it's not essential for me. And certainly for all of the other features that I need, to moving, copying, renaming files, this is no problem whatsoever. 
So there's Ninja Explorer, and that's what it does. You'll see that it's pretty quick. What is Ninja Explorer? Well, it's development by a, 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 the Ninja team who have uh, developed a number of different components and templates, but it's actually a fork of the original Joomla Explorer. Joomla Explorer, you will recall, I mentioned is the, is the de facto choice for Joomla 1 sites. What the Ninja team have done is taken Joomla Explorer and make it into a 1.5 um, native component. It's very quick, everybody knows how it works because so many people are used to the old Joomla Explorer. The Joomla Explorer team themselves, when it came to Joomla 1.5, didn't decide to make this move, they decided to rewrite entirely their uh, component. And that's what Explorer is. Explorer is a complete rewrite by the team that originally wrote Joomla Explorer. Now, something to note about Joomla Explorer is that whilst it's very, very closely integrated in Joomla, it's not actually native in Joomla, it's running as a separate program. But frankly, the integration is so tight that, that be, that's really a, a trivial thing to note. What's more important here is that I've got my folder structure, but I've also got the folder structure on the left-hand side here. It's actually much, much easier to navigate than in the Joomla Explorer days where I'd have to burrow down into a folder and then go back up, back up, back up, back up. It's much easier to navigate between places on the site uh, with the Joomla Explorer setup. It gives me very same features, very similar features, you'll see. Um, so I can, once again, search, reload. I can um, go and copy, delete, rename files, and indeed edit files. Let's go back into this module, and um, we'll see a PHP file is uh, clearly identified there. And we go into the editor here. And here we'll see the editor's a bit more complete, and in fact the markup language does work, so it is colored in for the different parts of the code. It also has uh, a nice uh, search feature built into the editor as well, and um, you know just some just some other uh, features which which make the editor n nicer to use. I should point out, however, that this is the uh, latest beta version of uh, Joomla Explorer. Um, in previous versions, in even the current stable version, this highlighting doesn't work again in Google Chrome. I'm sure, in fact, I know it works perfectly fine in Fireworks and also works in it in uh, in um, IE. So, in uh, code highlighting works really well. Um, the editor works, and um, it's uh, it's a nice editor to see. So. I hope what you're seeing here is actually that Joomla Explorer has more features, a more rich fun uh, functionality, and indeed this, uh, uh, particularly the navigation, is uh, very strong. The downside of Joomla Explorer is that it's slightly slower. Um, no surprises, because this is all built in some um, uh, quite hefty scripts to actually lay out the page, so it is slightly slower than, than the Ninja Explorer. Ninja Explorer is very quick, but there's slightly less functionality. Now, the other thing that we found out, and it's a factor with both of these uh, editors, is that they become a little bit flaky if, like us, you build Joomla sites inside either subdirectories or in subdomains, particularly in subdomains. Now, we're not sure what the reasons are, and I'm sure that I'm, uh, I'm sure they'll be solved uh, soon. That there may even be posts on their forums. But certainly, if you build in subdirectories or uh, subfolders, we've actually found that Joomla Explorer is it. This this particular one is much more resilient, uh, much more likely to work. Um, in subdirectories, uh, we've never been able to actually get Joomla, uh, sorry, Ninja Explorer to work. So, all in all, this is a more resilient package for us, and it is the one that we tend to choose. It's slightly slower. That's the only downside. But we have fast servers, and we have fast links, so we're less concerned about that. Joomla Explorer is therefore our choice. However, Ninja Explorer is very quick, very useful, has mo almost the same tools, and with that sole caveat about um, uh, its ability inside subdirectories and subfolders, then, then it's also a very credible choice as well. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you.